wanna see this. I'm only doing shit that's gonna make me elevate. Only one people around that's gonna be me. Welcome to the channel! Look at this one in the back. Say hi! Hi. Alright, you guys, I am up in Detroit again. We drove again. Again. Yeah. My mom was on life support. We came up here on the 10th. We are leaving tomorrow, which is the 20 what? 26? 28. We, we leaving tomorrow on the 28th. The wee hours in the morning again. But y'all, yeah. yeah, I'm so happy. God is good. My mom is good. She's safe. She's coming out. Coming off the sedation, coming off the ventilator. Hey guys. So I'm gonna finish this up right here on this clip because the last clip I was in Detroit, I was trying to film there, but uh, so much was happening. Um, Yeah, so I'm back in Atlanta. We came from Detroit. What was that? We spent two weeks in Detroit. My mom was in the hospital. She was on life support. And thank God, nothing happened. She, she's well, she's looking good. Um, but you know, it, in ICU, it's one of those things that we don't know what could happen. So she's still in ICU, but she's doing a heck of a lot better. She's off the ventilator. She's off the oxygen machine too. Matter of fact, she's off of that. Um, we didn't come home until she was actually off of the ventilator. I am so happy and blessed, y'all. So blessed. Like, I just want to spend so much time with her. I'm thinking about taking FMLA here at my job. Um, I've been looking into remote positions now. So I need something remote. I need something that I can commute with. You know what I'm saying? To still make money. And, you know, if I can still pay my bills and things that I have to be done. But, yeah, my sister, my oldest sister, thank God for her. And and I'm going to go back to the other thing where I was talking about we should have money set aside. Because my oldest sister paid for this trip. I mean, she paid for it. Because they were telling, you know, saying that she had 24 hours. My mom had 24 hours. And God just came in and said, no, nah, she ain't got 24 hours, I guess. He like, no, nah, it ain't her time. It ain't her time. But... Yeah, my sister stepped in and she really was like, hey, come on. Come on, because we don't know what's going to happen. So we got in the car, of course, y'all, and took that long ride. But y'all, to, to be honest, the ride was not that bad going there. Only because everybody was in their thoughts. Me, my brother, my sister, and the boys, they just ask so many questions because they're kids and I understand, you know, is grandma going to be okay? Is, you know what I'm saying? How is everything going to go? And when we seen her, it just, it really didn't look good. It didn't look good. And I, I was talking to the nurse because when we got there, it was after visiting hours, y'all. It was after visiting hours, but they still was like, no, nah, because we don't know how it's going to go. So y'all come on and visit your mom. And then we knew that y'all were driving up. So we went and seen her and whatever. That first night, our first two, three nights there, it was rough because I got, Z we got Zaire on our hip, you know, and it's my little brother. He's, you know, he's with mom all the time. So he's you know what's gonna happen or she gonna be okay she, he's trying to stay confident that she's gonna be okay but we all know people come and they must go you know that's just the way that's the cycle of life a life come in a life go that's just how it goes so yeah we made it back home my mom is doing better she's uh talk oh she was talking the other day 
to us. I was I was shocked. Like she was she's talking. But it's still, you know, she said she had the ventilator down there. She's still like it's really raspy. <sighs> um, what else is going on? Y'all, yeah, I'm just trying to get back in the mode of mode of working and trying to, you know, keep up with these bills. Thank God every the bills are paid. Those were paid. I don't know. God just been coming through with it. The rent was paid. Or everything. Lights. Everything got paid. So we didn't have to worry about nothing. Um, I don't know. God just be making money. It just fall in our laps. Or something. I don't know. We are in a season of healing. I mean mentally, physically, emotionally. Everything. Another thing I wanted to talk about, um, my little brother, y'all know he's 10. Yeah, he's, he is, he's 10. My little brother, he's 10. And my, the one that's right up under me, my brother took him up there to see my mom. So he goes, I don't know what he's thinking. Cause I, I should have told him not to take him because the last time he went up there to see my mom, um, it kind of messed with him a little bit. Like, I don't know, messed with his spirit. But he took him up there the other day. Mom, is, My mom is able to form sentences or whatever, but... And Zaire's here. He like, is she ever going to be normal again? Because he's thinking she forgot certain things or something like that. But she knows who he is. She knows... In his head, she's still like hospital ICU intensive very intensive care in his head that's what he's thinking like oh she ain't gonna never be normal no more I don't think she'll be normal after this that's what he's thinking and and that's a 10 year old you know to see their mom like that but y'all I don't think it was a good idea but my brother took him up there and he said it was the quietest ride home because he said nothing. He sat in the back. And it wasn't. He wasn't. And my brother. He joked a lot. That little boy. He played so much. But he was so quiet. My brother said it was a quiet. And it's not a long ride. But he said it seemed like a long ride. Because he was. He's just quiet. And. um, He said. Um, he said. I don't think it was a good idea for me to take him up there. I should have told him not to take him up there because the last time we took him, he couldn't even, he couldn't hold himself together. He just kept seeing my mama. Just seeing her like that in that state. But other than that, my mom is good, y'all. We've been doing good. We are, my family just healing. Put it like that. We doing what we do best, which is pray. And we'll get through this. We are. This is something we are going to get through. But they saying they're saying they're telling us also that she has to do. She might have to do might because they saying if she does good here and she starts walking and all that on her own, we don't have to go to a rehabilitation um, clinic. So, but he's they, they're saying she might just do it there at at Henry Ford where she's at. Yeah, other than that, everything is cool. Um, Y'all, another thing. When we first got there, and I hate even thinking about it, but the security guard that was on a night, night shift or whatever, he calls up there. This is when we first got there. We first got back to Detroit. Well, to Detroit, should I say. And he's calling. He calls up there. He's like, uh, you know, we need a room number and all this stuff. So I give him the room number. He calls up to the nurses. And um, they like, oh, yeah, come on up. We go up. We're on our way up. We were walking away at this time. And he says, um, then he get a call. Call one for us. The call one for us. Thank God. And he says, um, wait, 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 y'all can't go up. And he said, let me talk to you. Let me talk to me, right? 
So I'm like, okay. I'll go over there. He's like, well, y'all can't go up because they're taking her to the morgue. Y'all taking her to the morgue. In my head, I'm like, now where's my dad? I know he's devastated. Where's my father? I'm devastated at the moment too, but you know, my sister, she breaking up. I can't, I can't break. Cause at this point, where's my daddy? We need to figure this out as a family in my head. But I go call my dad and my daddy is like, I'm here with your mama. Sir, you got the wrong family, but it was another another family there too as well. And I guess they I'm gathering they were waiting on their their part people or whatever to contact them. Um but y'all I almost lost my shit. I was calling my dad. I said, Where are you? Where's mama? And, they, and he like, I'm up here with mama. I'm sitting with her right now. I'm sitting. So who is in the morgue? It dang showing her. It's not my mom. And I told him, I said, look, no, you got the wrong person. It, it can't be our family. It can't be us. And, but what it was is that we were the only family he called up there for. So he's thinking, I guess, however they had it going. When they called back down, he's thinking, oh, automatically our our mom or whatever. But y'all, I was so happy that I was just like, Dad, what floor are you on? And can you have that that doctor or the nurse to call down? So the nurse called down and she's like, No, their their mom is not in the morgue, you know. <laughs> Could you send them up? Yes, they have permission to come up to see their mom because we don't know how the night is going to go. Yeah, I was like, that was really, that was terrible. I was just happy to lay eyes on my mom, regardless of the state that she was in, because I was still able to, you know, you always want to be with your loved ones in, in the human form, not cremated, not lifeless. Um, looking at her, it was, my sister kept saying her hands, so cold. They did, uh, revive, they revived my mom three times, they did. Three times. So that was a lot on the body. So she's trying to recover. She's going to recover. She's going to be okay. I'm praying to God that we could just get... And she does. She has a blockage on her heart. Uh, blockage. Yeah. It's a small piece. And what they were saying... with well, one of the uh, cardiologists... She was saying, like, I think... We... They can only guess because it, the, it happened already, you know? So they can only guess what happened. What made her organs start failing. And they were saying a piece of the blockage could have failed, like a piece of it. And I'm like, I don't know how a piece of a block, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know about the body. So I'm like, they said a piece of the heart could have failed, and it made her body just do what it did. So that's what she was saying. But thank God, my mom is okay. Everything is good. Um, hopefully, we'll be back in Detroit soon. Because I don't want to be apart from her too long. I'm thinking about it. She been on my heart. My dad been on my heart because he's there. I've never seen my dad act that way. But he's okay. They're okay, y'all. Oh, I'm getting fatter. <laughs> I need to lose some weight, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching if you watch.